Uh, tacos have one rule. That rule is uh, the worse the place, the better they taste. That's all you need to know about tacos. Because you walk up to a horrible taco stand with the dead body chalked out line, you're going to be like, these are going to be awesome tacos. This guy died for these tacos. Oh my God. I'm going to order three for a dollar. They thought I was retarded when I was a kid. Like legally retarded. I take a test to prove I was. You know how bad it is to be the first test you take is to show that you're not going to bite anybody? I did suck. Kids would make fun of me and be like, ha ha, Johnny, you're retarded. I'm like, teacher? And the teacher would be like, you might be. You know? don't, don't run around. It was cool though, because I took advantage of it. Like I showed up late every day because uh, the teacher didn't want to call me tardy because she was afraid she might offend me. She was like, ah, oh, Johnny, you're tardy. I was like, no, I'm not. <laughs> well, you're late, because my bus is shorter. It takes longer to get here. <laughs> I got some good news for the ladies. I'm single. I, I don't know. Probably not. It's probably not good news. <laughs> probably don't care. I don't know. I used to have a girlfriend, and uh, she kept saying, I'm break up with you. And I was like, good, I can stop cheating on you. She did. I was like, oh, okay. It sucked. Like, she broke up with me because uh, she caught me watching porn. And she was like, do you know how degrading that is to women? And I was like, it's not degrading. They're doctors and lawyers and <laughs> teachers. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I, don't know, I, I don't know. It was weird having a girlfriend. Because like, when, when you have a girlfriend, you have to do stupid stuff. Like, she made me go to Forever 21. I hate that story. I hate going to Forever 21. Because at Forever 21, there's nothing but delusional 31s. I was like, nah, lady, you're not gonna fit in those jeans. Don't do it. Oh, don't. Oh. I can see the scar. Ah, oh. oh, jeez. I wish there was a store of nothing but 21-year-olds. You know how awesome that'd be? Like you'd walk in and just be like, she has no life experience. She has no life experience. This is awesome. Because when you're 21, you don't. You're just able to drink. It's legal, and that's all you do. You just drink, party, drink, party, drink, party. Oh man, I'm pregnant. Oh no. <laughs> don't. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, I know how I want to die. Like, I thought about it, and I don't want to get old. Because when you get old, like, you work your entire life, and you become a joke. Like, everybody's laughing at you at a certain age. He's like, ah, oh, look at Grandpa. He's trying to watch TV, but he's at the microwave. <laughs> like, it's sad. Like, this is what I want to do. Like, when I get to an age, when I think every day is Christmas, like, I'm walking out, is it Christmas? And my grandkids are like, no, Grandpa. Oh, shoot. Mer. This is what they're going to do. They're going to get a cage, and then they're going to get a bear, and then they're going to get a webcam. I'm going to fight that bear to death. Anything that's dumb, it's a bear. That bear's going to kill you. You're an old man. No, no, it's going to be an awesome old man versus bear cage match, because that bear's not going to hit him, because my family's going to pump me up with so much PCP. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be like in this corner, a bear. Roar! And then this corner, old man. Is it Christmas? Is it Christmas? And then as we get closer, that bear's gonna get angrier. Like, Roar! But I don't care. I'm gonna be on PCP. I'm gonna be like, where is my Xbox? Damn it! Where is it? And that bear's gonna swing. Uh, Discovery Channel fact, people. Uh, bears are strong as hell. It's gonna knock my arm right off. But I don't care. PCP power. I'm gonna pick it up and just be like, die bear, die. And that bear's gonna get knocked down. I'm gonna jump on its back and we're gonna ride off into the woods and cuddle. That's how I want to die, like a man in the arms of a bear. I'm really glad Thomas Edison invented electricity and not Thomas White, because I'd hate to have to pay the White Power Company every month. <laughs> Here you go, man, another $35. I want to open up an ice cream shop and call it the gym, so fat people can update their status to going to the gym, just like everybody else. <laughs> I'm going to have flavors like creamy cardio, pistachio pull-ups, Rocky Road abs, it's gonna be sweet. And when people order, I'm gonna sell them in sets instead of scoops. So they can be like, hey, can I have three sets of Rocky Road abs? Hell yeah, you can, get your workout on. I'm like, oh my God, that's so good. And then they can update their status, they just got done with the gym, did 45 sets of Rocky Road abs, kinda tired, gonna take a nap. And their friends would be like, oh man, I'm so proud of Steve. 
He's going to gym like eight times a week. He used to be a big old fatty. I think I take him out for ice cream for encouragement. Keep the hope alive. I, know, I was a fat kid. I was 150 pounds when I was a kid. Yeah, I was either a fat kid or a skinny elephant. Uh, it was sad because I had to shop in the husky section. You know who else shops in the husky section? Midgets. Uh, you know how bad that is when you're a kid fighting with a grown little man over pants? Uh, like, bro, I need those 32 by 12s. I need them, bro. And I went to a poor school. I hated going to a poor school. Cause like when you go to a poor school, they make you sell candy. And it's different than when you go to a nice rich school. When you go to a nice rich school, you sell candy. They're like, sell a thousand chocolate bars. We're gonna go to the zoo. When you go to a poor school, it's like, sell a thousand chocolate bars. We gotta keep the lights on. <laughs> How much that sucks when you're a kid and they give you a part-time job. You can put that on an application. You become a Sally Mae representative. It sucks. Because you don't sell candy bars because when you go to a poor school, they won't get those candy bars back. Like, we're going to charge you. We don't have any money. What are you going to take? You have to sell out of the catalog. I right? know bad that is. You're just like, oh, if you turn to page three, uh, there's some peanut butter cups for $25. If you buy two, I get a slinky. <laughs> and one of the people that really sell candy are parents that work in offices because then they can guilt other parents. Like, hey, Steve, remember when your stupid kid had that candy sale? Guess what time it is. <laughs> yeah, you're buying two peanut butter cups. He's getting a slinky. All right, thank you very much. My name is John Roque.